Hey guys, welcome to the video number 8 of this SQL series. We are solving our 8th question of the series that is our customer who visited but did not make any transaction. This is the easy level of question again and this is the title of this question. So here we are given with the uh, tables and the acceptance rate of this question is 81% that is still higher. When you just go up and see there are two tables visits and transactions so the visit table has only two columns that is visit id and column customer id in the second table transaction we are given with the three columns that are transactions id visit id and amount now the visit id is a primary key for this table this table contain information about the customer who visited the mall Transaction ID is the primary key for this table and the table contains information about the transaction made. Now we have to write the SQL query to find the IDs of the users who visited but without making any transaction and the number of time they made this types of visits so we have to return the values. So you can just return the result table sorted in any order so the order restriction is still not here. The input of the visits and transaction are given as here that are showing in the screen and as you can see the output returning as customer ID and count no transaction well, the number of count of transaction that we have to return from that results. So as you can see that uh, if you just see the first table there is a customer ID that is 54 and the visit ID is 5 and you can see in the second table visit ID 5 is written over here. But when you see the 54th ID with the visit ID 7 and there is no kind of ID in transaction table exists. So it is just showing us the customer ID 54 has number of two visit in which they have not make any transaction. So they didn't make any transaction. So we have to return the count of that visit in which they don't buy anything from the mall. Now just write the SQL query as select. with the alias a dot customer id again i am using the alias a for the cust uh, for the table one and alias b for table two now here we are just writing as select a dot customer id comma count we because we have to return the number of count with no transaction so basically here we are just returning the a dot visit id of that count as count no transaction count number of transaction from the visit table after that put the alias of that table we are solving this question with the help of left join so write the left join keyword over here write that second table name that is transaction with the alias b and we want to just compare the id so basically i am going to write here as a dot visit id is equal to b dot visit id but we have to put the clause over here as well to check the condition so we are going to write here as where transaction id is null because they we have to return the answer where that transaction uh, didn't happen right so transaction id is null and basically we have to group by each and every customer id so it will return you the uh, compiled answer against the customer id so group by and then you have to write here as a dot customer id so this is the sql script that we have written over here just check the result and output if they are returning the right answers or not so they have accepted our answer and as you can see the output result and the result they have provided us and expecting from us is same because against 30 and 96 the, the count number of transaction is one that they have provided and against 54 the two count has been provided so we have just write the correct sql script so just submit that code and when you just press on the submit button so you will see that you have beaten 21.94 percent of the people in this question who are solving 
this challenge so problem number eight is solved as well and hope you like this video please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to subscribe tuition tonight meet you in our next challenge that is challenge number nine